Let's respond to the ministry of God's word by bringing to the Lord our morning tithes and our prayers. Thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, 
hailstones and coals of fire. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Let's confess to the Lord our sins and seek his forgiveness. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for your mercies to us. We thank you for this testimony of David, how he saw your great work of redemption in his life when he was surrounded by his sin, when he was surrounded by the troubles of this life, when he was overwhelmed by all these things. You, he cried out to you, and in your mercy you heard and came, rescued and delivered him. And we too would cry out to you for the forgiveness of our sins. We pray that through Jesus you would wash away all of our wickedness, all of our transgressions, all of our iniquities and sin. We pray, Lord, that you would wash us clean of these things through Christ's blood and renew us by your Spirit, that we might more perfectly obey, follow, live, and, and live for you. We ask for your forgiveness through Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. We are reminded that God is ready to forgive in these words from Micah chapter 7. Who is a God like you who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? You do not stay angry forever, but delight to show mercy. This time we prepare for those words. We thank you for your mercies to us. We ask that you would teach us to pray, even as our Lord taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our final hymn this morning is number 700, Trust and Obey, number 700, and we'll stand to sing. Thank you.
priests who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.